This past week, I was on my motorcycle in North Carolina, up on top of a mountain. A cold wave had come in, and it was in the 50s, and there was fog and light rain. Now, if you know anything about riding a motorcycle, you're out there in the elements, and there is a thing that is called wind chill. Well, I wanted to get back. And my phone didn't work, my GPS didn't work, and, uh, and I was lost. So in a time like that, you go to God and you say, God, help me to find my way. And good orderly direction was mine. I got back in an in incredibly short period of time faster than I ever thought that I would. Through the Spirit of God that is in you, good orderly direction is yours. What do you need direction for? In what way do you need to go? Is it career? Is it relationships? Whatever the puzzling situation that you're in, you want concrete direction that shows you the good and orderly way to proceed. This is what we receive when we turn to God. The guidance that we receive from God is never clouded, it's never foggy, it's never confused. The guidance that we receive from God comes as good, orderly, direction. In day-to-day -day matters or in complex issues, when you're lost and you don't know your way, in situations that involve you or involve others, your guidance comes as answers. You can understand and answers that you can use Answers that are always for the highest and best good of everyone concerned. In prayer, your guidance begins as a feeling of renewed faith and confidence born inside of you. Out of faith, your eyes are open to the opportunities and the possibilities that your fear and doubt may have prevented you from seeing, or you may receive some totally new inspiration that you hadn't expected, that you haven't thought of. As you stay close to God in prayer, you can be sure that good orderly direction will be yours. I pray today that you have this direction that you're not in a fog, that you realize the way to go, and it is the right way, and you proceed in that way.